paranoid to the max. The Raleigh James Show. Call Raleigh now at 888-876-5593. 8888-RALEIGH. Chubby and the Turnpikes. They later became Tavares. Unoriginal vinyl, of course. Yes, like vinyl. Well, it turns out I mentioned that because apparently a clerk at the Fred Meyer chain was ordering some REM CDs and he accidentally checked an LP code by accident. Now, what I find fascinating is that there was an LP code for this REM album, but there was. And so he entered the LP code, and all of a sudden these big boxes show up at the Fred Meyer stores full of albums, you know, vinyl, right? And some of the some of the stores just sent them right back. But in some cases, they figured, well, they're here, let's put them out. So one store put out a hunk of vinyl, and the first day they sold 20 LPs alone. <laughs> I kid you not. And so uh, now they're testing vinyl in 60 of their stores, the Fred Meyer chain, which is part of Kroger, in Oregon, Washington, and Alaska. And they say response is terrific. Good for them. And yes, you can certainly have the argument about warmth, but it's interesting because, of course, many of today's music are recorded and mixed in digital anyway, and then uh, then just taken back to analog for the album. But when you look at some of the algorithms giving you loudness, well, that will uh, certainly, even to this day, kind of spare some warmth, which is unfortunate, though the CDs have come so far from when they were uh, uh, we're first out. Now that said, I'm a I'm a girl with I don't know, thousand tens and tens and tens and tens of thousands of 45s and albums. That's right, a lot of weight here, and yeah, I wouldn't part with it for the world. However, I will say this: that on some of the newer CDs, yeah, not so much difference actually. You get uh, get a lot of convenience, no scratches, and the algorithm they're using now in many cases, there's a lot of warmth there. But still nice to see that 20. 20, count them, albums in one day out of one store, and you might be thinking the same thing I do. Who has the turntable? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that sounds like a, uh, a C-Crane commercial. Maybe we'll get to that sometime later. 